Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel. Today's video is a mystery box swap collaboration that I did with a ton of other really talented crafters here. And I was sent five items from Leah from Junkernecker. I will have her channel linked below as well as the channel, the playlist for this collab and the links to all the other channels that are involved in this. So please be sure to check out that link. But these are the items that I had to make something with. And we got five random items from the Dollar Tree to craft with. I made some Christmas decor with mine. But you'll see that in a minute. And I'll share a little bit more about the challenge in a minute. So for this uh, mystery box, I was joined by Broco Aesthetics, Sunflowers and DIYing, Antoinette Decorating, Artsy Maddie, Robin Spies and DIYs, Arrows DIY, and Junkernecker. I will leave the link to all of their channels and the link to the playlist below. Make sure you check that out. I had to send five items to Broco Aesthetics, so definitely make sure you check out that video to see what she did with the items I sent her. And just check out all the videos because this was a really fun challenge. We had no idea what we were getting in the mail. So for mine, I got sent these beads. I thought I knew exactly what I was doing at this point, And I was going to try to make a Christmas tree to go on top of this um, wooden base. I just whitewashed the wooden base. And then I painted these gold um, foam balls that I got. And originally I thought I was going to be creating a Christmas tree out of the checker pieces that I got in this checker set, but it ended up not working out. So you'll see in a minute what I actually end up doing to make the Christmas tree. But yeah, this this was a process, guys. I thought I knew what I was doing. I did not know what I was doing. But basically for the challenge, we got sent three items from Crafter Square and then two other random items from anywhere in the store. So that was one of my wild card items was the checkerboards. And I thought that I was going to make the Christmas tree out of those. I didn't. And I ended up actually making the Christmas tree out of the felt. I just cut out the um felt gingerbread men into circles just all circles out of the felt and i took this random wooden doll i had lying around and poked it into a hole that i drilled into the base and then i started gluing the circles around you'll see what i do in a minute to kind of make the little leaves i guess or branches to the christmas tree just it's hard to describe so just watch what I'm doing <laughs> So you can kind of see now the shape of the Christmas tree starting to form and once I was done gluing the felt pieces on I just took it down stairs to my basement and spray painted it white. I did end up gluing the wooden dowel into the base at this point since the tree was spray painted and then I just added on the little foam balls that I painted gold and kind of like they were ornaments on the tree. And then right here is when I felt like I messed up. I kind of wanted to look like the ornaments had fallen off the tree or were just like scattered around at the base of the tree because you know how when you're decorating the tree you just got ornaments everywhere and then you're putting them up I thought it would look whimsical I don't know let me know in the comments what you think but if I had to do this again I probably wouldn't put all of the um, gold balls at the bottom like I did but I think it turned out okay A 
believe it or not, this was the one item that I was so confused about and stumped by in the beginning, but I ended up just doing something kind of obvious with it in the end. So before I finish decorating with these last few items, see if you can guess what this is going to be in the comments. And let me know what you would have done with these items if you had to make a craft with them. Okay, just so you're not confused, I did originally want this to be white, but the white paint went on too thin and it was taking 70 coats to cover it, so I had some green paint left over and I ended up changing the color to green. And for this next part, you can use any type of string, but the string that I have here is a wire jute cord from the Dollar Tree that I had laying around. Also, I highly recommend using E6000 if you're going to try this project. I specifically use E6000 instead of hot glue because I didn't want the hot glue to burn through any of the plastic. And let me know in the comments if you guessed that this was going to be a giant Christmas ornament. Also, please let me know which one was your favorite DIY. And please leave me a like and share this video if you would like to help support my channel. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more DIY home decor and home improvement projects on a budget. And make sure you check out the playlist below. So I just realized I have a card in my package too. And Tallulah here is going to read the card for us. Thank you for joining in the mystery box challenge. You're a wonderfully creative person and I can't wait to see what you come up with. And this is from Leah from Junkernecker. So thank you so much for having me in the challenge.